channel i'm filming today a natural makeup look um this is my first video so thank you guys for watching my name is leslie i hope you guys enjoy so we're gonna start with some moisturizer well actually a serum because i have really dry skin so i kind of just put it like like right here <laughs> okay that's where it gets the most dry but i just use the um the teamy wait the teamy really. and then if i'm looking that way it's because it's my first video and i keep looking at myself because i'm like ooh, so weird. and then i'm gonna put on the crema it's just a belief i really like it it's like a it's an aqua bomb and if i'm looking that way i'm looking at my mirror oh my god this is my first video, okay? So if it looks weird, I'm sorry. Oh, and I did do my eyebrows already because it took like 25 minutes. Now I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do the, uh, primer. I kinda wanna like, make sure it's like, sunk, sunk? We'll say sunk. Then I'm gonna use a pore filling primer. This is a professional one, the benefit one. I'm just gonna put like a little bit, like a little bit, like maybe like a dime size or something. I just use that like in the center of my face, so that's where I have pores. And then I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. <laughs> okay, there it is. I struggled for that one. And I kind of like rub it in at first because like I have kind of a lot so I'm not gonna like, you know, go like this. So I just kind of like smear it and then I like go ahead and tap it. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty. I'm gonna go in with both of them though because this is a little too dark and this one's a little too light for me. And I have the Fenty. I think it's like the Pro Filter Soft Matte and then Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. My hydrating one is in 150 and then the other one, the this one is in 190. Okay, now to blend it out, I'm gonna use this um, Morphe. The name is not there anymore, but I think it's a Y6. So you just wanna kinda like when you're putting on foundation, don't like go like this. Go like, you know, like all over your face. Like I know it takes a while, but if you smear it, you're not gonna get coverage because you're like kind of rubbing it off, you know? It's like, you know, if you go like that, like you're kind of patting it in, but if you go like this, you're like, you're rubbing it away. I kind of dab it on my ear too. Um, which I know some people don't because like, you know, it's gonna get like your ear dirty because they didn't have makeup But um, just to like kind of like blend it out I don't go like, I don't do like a full pump like on my ear and just you know go in on my ear But I do do it like whatever I have left over kind of like once I'm kind of done with my face Just so my ear won't look like pink and then my face like, you know, white So then after my foundation, I'm gonna go on with concealer And I am kind of fair Fair to light, like I'm not like fair, like I'm not white. So I'm gonna use the. This is my favorite one. I know a lot of people don't like it anymore, but I really like it. It's the sharp, uh, sharp, <laughs> a shape tape by Tarte, and I just I use two different colors. Well, I have one that's lighter than the other one. It's a fair light neutral, and the fair light neutral I kind of put it like I just put a little bit like right there. Cause I'm not really trying to go like, ooh, you know, I want a lot of coverage and stuff. I just kind of want it to be like, um, just a little bit brighter than my foundation, like under my eyes. Cause I don't want my under eyes to be like dark. And then the darker one, it's in light neutral. I'm just gonna kind of like put it on the outlines of wherever I put it. And I don't even put that much. And I always put a little bit on my nose, even though I don't contour my nose, just because like. I don't think I know how. I've never tried it, but I don't think I know how. And then second of all, I kind of like my nose because I know it's a little bit big, but I don't care because my face is big. So I feel like if I have a small nose, I'm going to look awkward, you know, like, okay, big head with a small nose. 
and I'm gonna just kind of like go a little bit over my eyes because my eyelids like they have a lot of um they have a lot of redness on them and then like earlier with the foundation I didn't go right here because like the brush is too thick so when I Whenever I go with my concealer, this brush is a lot smaller, like, compared, like, you know. Well, they look the same. Oh, my God, okay. This one has, like, okay, you see how it has, like, a skinny side? And this one's kind of just, like, fat all around. See so how with the skinny side, like, I go, like, you know, right here. I'm going to go in with, like, a little sponge. This is a real technique sponge. And I just bounce it. Bounce. I don't, I don't smear. I don't go like this because I already explained that. I'm gonna spray like one or two squirts of MAC Fix Plus just to like kind of moisturize because I did put like you know like two kinds of liquids. I'm gonna use a Fix Plus Lavender. This is a little. I'm just gonna tap in the spray. Okay, then for my my setting powder, this one's the Born This Way, like the Too Faced. It's a Too Faced Born This Way. And for this, I like to put it like on my sponge. I dip it in. I'm gonna use the like side that doesn't have the powder. I'm gonna use this here and kind of like press it in case I have any creases because I don't want to like set the creases. And then I'm just gonna dip in again and I'm gonna set my whole face with it. And then I'm gonna use a flat side and I'm just kind of like put it all over my face. And you see how I'm putting enough for it to like it disappear. And this foundation, by the way, it's not full coverage. Like I can still see a lot of my like scarring because I used to have a lot of like pimples. I mean, I still kind of do, but not as much as I used to. But yeah, like you guys still see through, but it's okay. Like I'm not going anywhere fancy. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is a airbrush powder. It's a, a cosmetics one. It's um the Ulta one. So. And I'm gonna use this MAC powder. It's right here. It's a little dirty. It is my favorite one. Is this in medium, which is a little dark for me. But since I'm just kind of like going like this, and I'm gonna just like, you know, this one I do rub a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna use a small little brush like this, kind of like a tapered brush. It's the Morphe Y11. This pure powder, <clears throat> it's in the shade light slash clear. And I already have like, I always use this one. But yeah, I'm gonna just kind of like tap it in, tap it in. And this is a lighter color, so I'm gonna just kind of like go under my under eyes. But like, this is very lightly, like, I'm literally just going like this. I'm gonna just bronze up my face. This is my favorite bronzing brush and I have no idea when I got it. I, it was probably one of my boxes, like my subscription boxes. It's a Moda Pro BMX 130 pointed blush. And for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with, I'll do this one. It's gonna be a butter bronzer. This is a drugstore bronzer, honestly, like, but um, this one is in the shade bronzer, which is like the original shade. And me, like, I like my face to like not be sticky anymore when I'm putting on bronzer because I feel like it gets blotchy. I know a lot of people just go in with bronzer as soon as they put on foundation, but I can't do that. I don't really like to put bronzer like all right here because I have a small forehead like like this is like forehead and like I have like a three head but um but yeah and then like whatever's left over I like amino double chin too so <laughs> it's okay 
I don't mind. I don't mind, but sometimes I do. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. I typically always grab this one like just by default, just cause like, I don't know, I just always grab it. It's a Morphe R10 and it has like the little rose. And I'm gonna grab um the Hula Benefit. And this one is darker than the other one. That's why I like to just like, kind of like use a smaller brush and then like, so like that and tap it off. And then like, I just put like a little bit like on the edges, like next to my ear, like literally right there, like right here, right here. Okay. And literally just that, like just tap it. And then go back with the other brush, the one that I was using before. And then just kind of like, kind of like diffuse it. And then I'm gonna do um blush and then I'm gonna put on, so I'm gonna put on like this one. Toasted Cinnamon by Bird's Bees. And it's this thing. Oh, I'm gonna use uh, the Morphe M530. This is my favorite uh, blush brush too because I don't like my br blush to go everywhere. Okay. And then after my blush, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. Which I'm just gonna wear a little bit today. And I'm actually gonna go with a natural highlight because I'm just gonna go to like chill, you know? I'm gonna go with the old school Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. It's so cute. This is a Morphe M510. I'm just gonna tap it and like tap off the excess. I'm gonna go in with a like really like. This is like super, super fluffy. I mean, a uh, sparse brush. It's a uh, Aesthetica H22. I don't even know where I got this brush either. But I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier. Um, this is the, uh, it's not the one that everyone uses. It's the, the glowing one. I'm just gonna do like very slightly like Okay, you see how it's like very like a little bit? Very like a little bit, okay. And I just just like the left of I just put it like on the under right here. Cause I didn't really set my like neck because I just didn't. <laughs> now okay you guys know the blush that I use, the like toasted cinnamon, the Burt's Bees one. I'm gonna grab that shade to put a little bit like as eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that same like toasted cinnamon and I'm literally just gonna go like this. Like, like three little taps and then go. And then, I was gonna go like this but it has no mirror. Okay, and then just kinda like, you see like, I'm just kinda like, Working it in my crease and honestly like you can use like your bronzer your blush whatever like shades you use like it doesn't really matter too much because it's just kind of like a dust of like eyeshadow like literally look I'm gonna try to zoom it in like okay you see how it's like there but not really and yeah that's literally all I do like for my eyeshadow and then I'm gonna finish it off with mascara but I'm only gonna put mascara on my top eyes, like on my top eyelashes. So I'm gonna curl them. I'm gonna grab this, um, the L'Oreal for mascara. Oh my god. I feel like I have to cover my face because, like, focus on this. It's a carbon black telescopic by L'Oreal. one layer like a really nicely coated um layer like very generous with it and then i'm gonna dust away this just because i left it on for way longer than i actually wanted to but i had forgotten about it and i'm gonna dust it away this is my favorite like dusting away brush it's a real techniques dual 
Fiber Face Brush. And then I kind of do like random little things like that so I can kind of like, if I, in case it didn't blend good like earlier with like my bronzer, or like my blush or like things like that. I'm gonna use this one though, like classic MAC, not the lavender one, just the like regular. As a second one, I got this in my boxy charm. It's the Skin and Co. Roma. It's a radiant dew. It's like it's like a mist. And again, I'm just gonna use it like not to set my face, like so it like stays in place all day and stuff. But kind of just so like my face isn't like powdery. Cause I did put you guys on how much powder I put. <laughs> Okay, so for my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Malibu. It's this one right here. It's by Kali Cosmetics. Then I am gonna go in with gloss. I'm gonna go in with a uh, Groovy by Bare Minerals. I'm gonna go with gloss. I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lips and then like until like it like you know gets blended. And then with the better than six Too Faced, I'm gonna do my bottom lashes and then the top layer like the second layer of my top ones because they should be dry by now and i do curl them again my eyelashes i know some people are scared to curl them once they have mascara on already but honestly as long as they're already like completely dry you nothing should happen I did smear a little bit on my bottom like on the eyelashes because it's just kind of hard to get down there so I'm gonna go in with the little flat brushes uh Y18 any like mascara that I had got in there by accident it'll kind of dust away you don't want to do it when it's too wet though because then you're just gonna smear the mascara okay so I'm gonna go in back with the I'm gonna curl my top lashes, but I'm not gonna put any more mascara. I'm just gonna kind of like curl them so it can be like like they can stay up, and then I'm gonna go in with a second layer on the bottom. So this is an ABH brow gel. I use it so much; it's literally like disappeared, and I kind of just like flick them up. This is the finished look. I'm gonna put my hair down just so I can look like cuter, you know? Okay, this is a uh, makeup look that I did. It's very natural. This is like for every day. But for now, this is it, guys. Catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. I'm recording. Love you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> bye. Bye. I always do this. Maybe this isn't part of my outro. <laughs> but like, when I'm just doing my makeup to myself, like. I'm not talking to no one, like, I'm just like, you know, boom, 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 boom. There, that was it. Oh my god, look, it squirted! I feel like I look weird. Do I look weird? <laughs> I don't know how to do an outro. Oh my god, this is so weird. But...